Hello and welcome to the Easter Art School. I'm just going to say hello. This is the virtual Easter Art School. Um, this is my face, but from now on you only see my hands. So I'm great that you're joining in. I'm great. I'm delighted that you're joining in. It is great that you're joining in. And the first thing I'm going to do is give you some suggestions about how to draw some horses. And then I will show you how to make a horse. This is a handout that I'm going to email to you together with the video. And I've got some plastic horses. I hope you've got some of these. Uh, if you haven't, you'll have to get some pictures. You can use mine uh, or you can get some pictures probably online or in a book. And we're going to do the horse from the side. And my sheet just gives you some step by step instructions but you know the most important thing to tell you if you're going to draw with a pencil you might have a rubber but don't press too hard at the beginning now I hope you're going to see what I've, I'm doing here but like my diagrams I'm going to start with an oval an oval for the horse's body then I'm going to do a neck like that and then I'm going to give it a strange pointy triangular head now I'm not pressing too hard because that means I can rub these things out as I go along. But they're a bit of a guide. So body, neck, head. If that feels a little bit disappointing, like you thought you were going to learn how to do horses and here we are doing aardvarks or anteaters, I think it's quite encouraging to put on an ear. A sort of leaf-shaped ear like that. And maybe a flame-shaped tail. That might encourage you that this is going to be become a horse once we change some of these lines. Then I think we should do the legs. And the horse's legs are a little bit complicated because they go back and forth. But you can start with a big round shape at the top of the back leg. And then from the tummy down it goes back. And then it comes forward. And then my horse has got a a hoof going back as well. So again, I'm not pressing too hard. I just want to get some guidelines down. And the other leg goes down and it's going back a little bit like that. Not pressing hard. These are guidelines. I do the front leg and my horse's front leg goes back a little bit and then its hoof goes forward. And it's got another leg on the other side which goes out and down. And the hoof also goes back like that. So these are my guidelines. The legs are a bit more carefully drawn from the plastic horse. The body is still an oval and the neck um, and head are not yet refined. So the next thing you would do, you can look at my diagram or you can look at your horse. And I think those are things we need to change now. So the body of the horse isn't quite an oval because it's got a bottom that comes up and then the middle of the back goes down again. So that's what I'm going to change there. It's not such an oval anymore. But the bottom of that oval is fine because that's the horse's tummy. Then I come up to the neck and to the ear. What else will I change? Well, I'll start changing the head now. The head has got a bit of a step somewhere there where the eye is. And then it's not pointy, of course, it's more of a circle, something like that. And then we go back along the old line and then there's much more of a curve to the jaw, like that. When I come down the neck to the front of the tummy, there's actually a bit more of a... I'm not sure what that, is, what, what that is, is that's not quite the horse's ribs, it might be the horse's ribs. Maybe it's its shoulder blade. Um, and then those legs can have a bit of a knee. And if I make sure that line comes across and I'm going to take this line away, then that leg will stand out. And this is the back leg. So I did do the legs by looking a little bit more carefully at the horse. But that was after I had done the oval for the body. So I'm strengthening these lines that I'm happy with. 
that I think are horsey lines and not so much ovals. Um, and then a little bit more of the details, sometimes the inside of the ear, another line will give you that. The eye is also a bit of an oval, yes, that's where it is. And horses have eyelids as well, so it's quite good to do two ovals. The mouth can be a line down there, and the nostril is a, a tear shape, something like that. And maybe as well as a, a flowing tail, I can do a flowing mane. And sometimes you get a bit of mane up there. So that is some suggestions for drawing this horse in this position. So I think you should try that. Either you try my horse or you find your own. And then you could do a bit more to it. You could, with your rubber, you could tidy up a little bit. Some of the lines that you don't want. That was from the oval there. Going through the leg. That's the oval there. And taking that away at the back. So you can tidy up a little bit. Some of the lines you didn't want. And because you didn't press too hard, they're easier to get rid of. And then with that drawing, that might be quite nice just to put in some colour. Give your horse a colour, maybe darken its eye. Darken its nostril. Often they have a different colour or pattern on their hooves. And so on. Okay, well I'll pause that now and then I'll get ready to show you how to make the horse with some um, loo roll middles. So now I'm going to show you how to make the horse, to start making the horse from card or cardboard. So you need, I think it's three and a half of these middles of the loo paper, uh, if you've got them, if you've got supplies of loo paper. If you haven't, then maybe you could get an adult, you could do this yourselves, to make some cylinders like this. Because if you think about it, that's what's in the middle of um, a roll of loo paper. It's a cylinder. So you could take a cardboard box and that one's been cut in half and rolled. And sometimes it helps if you roll it round something, if you've got a rolling pin or something. But the great thing about these middles of the loo rolls is that they're already um, a cylinder. And we're going to cut them and tape them. So that's, you can see that the, the body is just one loo roll. The neck and the head, I've cut them, cut the loo roll a bit like that. So one bit shorter than the other. This is going to be the neck. That's a cylinder. And then what you've got to learn to do is to roll it differently so that it's not a cylinder anymore, it's a cone. Do you see that? And if you have bits of tape on the side of my table, I've put bits of tape torn off like that. Sometimes an adult can be very kind and tear you off bits of tape. And then while you're doing this with your hands, shaping the card, you've just got bits of tape ready. So I only need one piece of tape there for the neck. That's a cone, sort of. And the head's the same. I cut it like that and roll it so that the top of the head is wider and where the nose is going to be is a bit thinner. And I'm taping that in place. So that's the head and the neck. And actually that will be all right, I think. If I tape those two together. You can also decide, do you want a horse's head? That'd be nice if the horse's head was pointing down. So do you see I've pushed that in a bit so that that will sit together. And I'm holding that in place while I take that on. So this is the first stage of building the horse's body. And holding everything together with masking tape. We will cover it with papier-mâché, with tissue and glue. So the masking tape is just to hold things in place until we're ready for that. So that's my body. And again, see my loo roll holder, my loo roll send at the middle, whatever it is, is a bit squashed. So it'll fit inside the neck like that. Not 
always easy to hold them with one hand. You might get a bit of help. Someone might hold it while you tape it. And then I tape it on that side as well. Now I think my head and neck are okay um, without anything inside them. But it might be quite a good idea to stuff these shapes with a little bit of newspaper, just so they don't collapse too much. So I'm just going to pause a minute while I go and get some newspaper to stuff them and show you what I mean by that. So this horse is quite small, so I don't need much newspaper, but I've just scrunched up some paper. I'm going to put it inside there so that as I build the horse, if I do end up pressing on my um, body and neck, they won't uh, lose their shape. So I could put even a bit more in, I think. And then it keeps its roundness. I can squash it, but it'll come back to its shape. So, a head, neck, and body, and then the legs. So to do a leg, I'm gonna have to use this body. I didn't find another one. Um, for the back legs, you can see the back leg again, it's a cone. I've cut my new roll middle in half. And it's even more extreme how you make one end very thin and you leave the other end almost open. So that's easier if I can tape it down at the bottom. This leg hasn't really got hooves yet. It's just got the top of the leg. And if you remember from the drawing, that bends forward and then it bends back. So when we come to do some of the details of the horse's head and legs, we'll add hooves to the back legs. But that's what I want, a thick top coming down to a thin ankle. And that can go there. And we'll take that on, on the outside and try and get a bit of tape on the inside as well here. I could have closed off the back of the horse with some tape. So that's one and that's one I did before. I'll put that on that side. And we'll get them into some different positions. Maybe that one can go back. I always have to look at a picture to remember what's the different positions of these legs. But again, because they're card, you've seen me bending them in different directions, they can be shaped to go in a different direction. And often that's a thing that you do later on, once you've got the papier-mâché on, because these can still be bent. Then the front leg, is actually a quarter of one of these blue roll middles because the front legs are much thinner and that's just a cylinder, a much thinner cylinder like that, rolled over and taped together. And actually the front legs are longer than the back legs because we're going to add something on for the back legs. And you might want to bend them a bit as well. Maybe twist the end. But that's going to go on the front. One on each side. That one I'll bend. So there is that first stage of building the horse 
I used the middles of the loo roll and I cut the cylinders different sizes and some of them I just made into cones and I've also just cut out a bit of box for a tail and I can attach that. with some tape. So that is the first stage. So for this first day of the Easter Art School, if you could do some drawings of horses, like I showed you, and you can look at those handouts, and then if you could start making your horse from either from the middle of the loo roll or if you could roll out some boxes, get some help to make some cylinders. That box I could even try and make at the same length as a loo roll middle. There you go, so we've got two cylinders now, which can be used, it's actually a bit long, that can be used in the same way, but I'm sure you'd only need three and a half of these toilet roll centers to do what I've shown you there. So I'm sure you could find those and get that started. So try and do these things. Today you're seeing this on Tuesday morning and on Thursday morning I'm going to send you another video. There'll be some more drawing, a different sort of technique, and there'll also be the next stage of covering that with papier-mâché, which I might do next so that when I show you the next video it isn't just how to put papier-mâché on, it's how to then put on details like the ears and the hooves and the shape of the head. All right, well, good luck. And if you've received this, you've got an email and you'll be able to contact me if you need any help. I can give you advice. What's worked, I've been doing this with my grown-up students. They send me a WhatsApp message or an email with a photograph of what's the stage they're at and if there's a particular problem and I can try and give some advice. All right, well, I look forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye.